Those. Oh yeah, you 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 can't abs like absolutely you cannot interrupt production like on a set when yeah. you have like literally like sometimes a hundred people on set. Yeah. Right. And if you screw it up because of a cell phone, that's it. You're in trouble. Oh my god! Like you're talking tens of thousands of dollars per just waste every couple of minutes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Being wasted because oh, yeah. you have to retake. You have to whatever. Right. This is straight cut out through and whatnot like that. Yeah. Right. So hey, we're not gonna be worried about that. So. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another upload of It's a Dire Thing with two dad discussions here. Um, we got John and I got Sage as my uh, my cameraman in the back here and myself, Rob. So again, thank you very much for uh, for uh, tagging along. Um, today, I guess the discussions is, well, first off, we're still in the middle of the, uh, the coronavirus, COVID-19 uh, pandemic happy, happy. nonsense. Six feet apart. Six feet apart as, yeah, <laughs> just camera, camera angles kind of make a look different but we are actually physically <laughs> yeah nose go. to nose six feet apart so we're safe so haters gonna hate but don't hate on us there yeah, you go right for sure so um as many of you have followed us in the past um we've done the the tuesday wing nights uh discussions and, and bike talk and stuff like that while we're eating wings so i mean it's been what we're, uh, we're just a week it now it's opened it up yeah. and it's finally <laughs> <laughs> Let's, ah. chicken wings again man <laughs> so yeah go. that's what we're here tonight to, to discuss but at the same time it's also following on to now the second portion of the discussion here is the Suzuki GSX S 1000 F versus yeah. the MT 10 mm -hmm. right so there's been quite a few uh, comments out there um, since last year since we've been running a lot of people yeah. wanted us to do a lot of comparison comparing uh, the two bikes because there really isn't that much videos no, on not really two bikes no not of the two bikes no. so um, as much as they are very similar um, they are still very different uh, but yeah so there's a couple of videos out there with the naked version uh, mm -hmm. GSX mm -hmm. but nothing of the fairing version no. even on its own there's yeah. very little out yeah. there in the YouTube channel world um, and then even less comparing it to other bikes. Yeah. So, but almost none of a direct comparison between just the two bikes. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I even searched yesterday and I could not find anything, yeah. honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, all the naked versions, but yeah. not the fairing versions, right? And there's That's a lot right. of people, a lot of you guys out there who want to know about the, the, the fairing version. So yeah. we've had a couple of comments exactly. and we've been discussing, John and I have been discussing quite a bit uh, in regards to, we need to sit down and we need to start doing this. So mm -hmm. last week, uh, John and I went out for a ride and again and again over and over he just kicks my butt like just the power of this bike is absolutely insane right so um this is where we're going to kind of do it as like maybe a three-part series or whatever like that as and just let it grow as it goes uh taking comments from you questions and stuff like that that will continue to feed um i wanted to go live but unfortunately i couldn't get to that part yet but maybe that will come in the future so yeah. For tonight, um, into the second series, second part, um, what I've been doing today for, for some of the day is, uh, as much as I know and I've said it in all my previous videos, I don't go into specs and if you want to see specs, go off and, and check it out yourself on through the internet yeah. and stuff like that. But in order for us to do the you kick my butt again, <laughs> bike per bike, um, I had to pull out some of the spec sheets here. So I've got two kind of uh, spec sheets here that we're going to kind of compare and talk um, but again take note right now um, we're not going to get technical no right no. this is literally rider to rider and I think this is what most people and want just what it feels like what it feels like yeah. really like rider to rider we're not going to sit here yeah. and throw up all the data sheets and the specs and, and all that mumbo no. jumbo not that there's anything wrong with other youtubers that do that mm -hmm. it's just something that I don't do I well, like to and you know not only that, that right? but I mean it seems like every YouTube or website that you go on to yeah. everyone has different numbers for these bikes right? especially this one yeah right it's, i mean um and, and, I, and i guess maybe it depends on altitude it depends on climate or whatever location it is, but it's whatever. always different so yeah. i'm gonna hand over these specs these are the specs here for the the gsx s 1000 f mm -hmm. so again you guys got to keep in mind there's two versions so there's the f and there's the z yeah. right also we should point out that both bikes are 2018s 
Both bikes are 2018 because there might have been some changes throughout yep. the years that um, I might not. As have fat as I might look, we're both equal to the same weight. <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> no, save, save a couple of chicken wings. <laughs> Saving yeah. a couple of chicken wings. Yeah, no, I've been yeah. dieting. I've been on water diet for the longest there of time, and it's still not helping. Anyways, yeah. but yeah, so both are 2018s. Yeah. Um, even on our last run, so you can take a, a look at our last video that we just uploaded last week. Again, most of it was just kind of riding around. There wasn't any any no. comparing. Uh, but we will do that up on our third upload. So part three, I think we're going to sit down yeah. or we're going to ride together and we're going to actually start doing a couple of comparison. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most and part... we'll switch bikes. Switch bikes, yeah. absolutely. Get a yeah. better feel about it and, and get kind of like a you know an understanding as, as you know, you've, you've ridden mine before, I've oh, ridden yeah. yours before, but yeah. now we'll actually be able to talk about it while we're riding as well, right? Sure. So kind of get a really good exactly. hands-on feel and, uh, as to how things go. Mm -hmm. um, but... Yeah, like everything is identical when we were out riding last weekend, mm -hmm. other than you just kept smoking me, whether it feels from the start <laughs> or if it was from a roll on. Like, yeah. my God. Anyways, yeah. very angry. So, <laughs> first and foremost, let's kind of go over the specs. And mm -hmm. as we go along, I mean, if you have any, any things that you want to, to add on, yeah. uh, or Sage, Mr. Cameraman, if you have any suggestions or if you have any questions, whatever, chime in and let us know, right? So, um, like I said, I kind of went through a little bit of, of just the, the sheet here and I can mm -hmm. kind of uh, take a s screen copy of it and I'll add it to the end of this video just so you can kind of go through each one as, as I do the edits, right? So um, for the horsepower, like you said, mm -hmm. A lot of them were kind of all over the board, yeah. right? So, so you can go on to three, four, five different websites, and they'll all give you different numbers for horsepower. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not exactly sure what Suzuki officially is stating as the official horsepower at the crank yeah. for this bike, but it seems like every website I go on to, they're stating something different. Mm -hmm. I've seen numbers from as low as like 135 and as high as like almost uh, 160, I think. Yeah, or somewhere in between. So it's it's really just kind of it seems like it's up in the air. It's all over the board. Yeah. Whereas Yamaha also doesn't. We don't specify specs. Right. We don't specify horsepower on yeah. any of our uh, any of our products. Okay. Except for the upboards because the upboards are, are named by horsepower. Right. 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 Yeah. So same yeah. as Suzuki. Now also one other thing to note that I know that in 2018, um, I guess the the information that's floating around out there is saying that. Um, these bikes got a bit of a bump in horsepower in 2018. A bit? No. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, it, did it really get a bump or are they just stating a number that's more actual, actual to what actual? Yeah, exactly. And interesting. Yeah, right. So, but we're not Suzuki engineers, so we'll never know. But anyways, so what I have on the MT-10, according to the information that I was able to pull off of the internet, which um, for the most part, I'm using reliable sources, and I've checked multiple websites as yeah. well, right? So yeah. I'll kind of get the same confirmation. Uh, across the board, we're looking at uh, 158 horsepower on the crank, mm -hmm. and then 131 on the wheel. Yeah. From that, you're running on what here? You're so, running again, you know, different websites are going to say different yeah. things. Yeah. But what we I found, find the consistency. Right. So we're looking at, you know, anywhere between, you know, one... 35 to maybe 160. Okay. Okay, so, you know, like a couple of the websites that we saw said 148. Yeah. So, I mean, if we go with those numbers and we take those numbers as being somewhat accurate, then, you know, we have a very interesting topic because yours is stated at 158. And, and you're smoking my ass. Bro, well, yeah. <laughs> not only that, not to mention, but your torque figures are also just a little bit higher as well. I know. It just doesn't right. make sense. Yeah. And yeah. really, aerodynamics maybe has a factor, but that's only going to factor in when you get up to the uh -huh. much higher speeds. Exactly, right? Yeah. My torque come at, at uh, 82, right? And right. I think you're probably around the same thing, right? Yeah, around 80, yeah. Our weight, mm -hmm. again, it's not well, that 2018 much. Yeah. GSX-S1000F and MT-10, again, this is the corporation, if you guys are just tuning in now, is um, I got 460, you got 460 pounds, mm -hmm. right? right. Um, I'm saying most of the stuff here, I'll tell you whether it's in pounds, miles, kilograms, inches, or whatnot like that, and you guys can do the conversion on, on your own, right? Yeah. Um, sorry, top speed on mine, it's rated now again, um, websites are, are kind of different from, from place to place. Right. Not that we've ever tried it ourselves, because no. we don't do that kind of stuff. That's right. Um, I'm at 244 kilometers an hour, mm -hmm. rated top speed, right? right? So that's 152 miles an hour. Yours, I had it stated down at 
Um, 250 kilometers. 250, so, so there you go. Miles. So yeah. almost 10 kilometers faster than mine, so again, yeah, I guess the aerodynamics have to do with that because right. again, we're both at the same horsepower, both mm -hmm. at the same torque. It's just crazy. Yeah. Both running the same fuel tank size, which yep. is 17 liters. Yep. However, I got an average of 31 <laughs> miles per gallon. <laughs> 31 miles per gallon. I think it's, Honda Civics do better than your bike. Oh, it's good. <laughs> cars. My my Nissan Murano <laughs> does better than my motorcycle. Right, right. Your your F150 right. probably does better than Maybe. my. <laughs> it's, it's just horrible, right? So 31 miles per right. gallon. I think yours was rated almost at what was it? 48, I think it said. Um, the spec sheets there for miles per gallon yeah miles yeah, per yeah. gallon 45 45 yeah. so 45 miles a gallon on the same like i'm 998 or 989 cc's mm -hmm. you know what actual cc's was yours it's somewhere around somewhere there. the same yeah, thing I think it's too, right? just under a thousand yeah just under a thousand right yeah. so that that alone is crazy on how efficient or how thirsty yeah. the the MT10 oh, is, yeah. right? It's With crazy. the crossplane four, crazy. Um, yours is a it was it the um, not that I was going to say Delta box, but that's that's Yamaha. That's right? Yamaha, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, mine's just a frame. <laughs> <laughs> just a, this is just an MT10 killer. That's it, plain and plain, straight MT10 killer. Uh, wheelbase, okay, so now let's get into the kind of the, the size specs, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe that's got to do with the difference, yeah. right, in regards to not just how stable it is, but you know, how, how it handles the road, right? So yeah. I have my wheelbase of uh, 55 inches. Yeah. Yours is actually, I think, I think it's a little bit longer, right? Yeah, so I think it's at 57. Two inches longer, right? Yeah. So you're definitely a little bit more stable. Mm -hmm. um, my total length is 82.5. Right. You have on yours, is what? Hmm. Total length? 83. 83. So again, same same total length, pretty much give or take by a half inch, mm -hmm. but you have two inches more wheelbase. in wheelbase. So that it uh, it also reduces the amount of wheel lift as on a high takeoff, right? Yeah. So I have to be a little bit more cautious as I'm taking off. Yeah. Whereas you can kind of a little bit you you have like when we did that roll on yeah. Like I said, I had to easy out my clutch, even though I was on traction control two, I should have right. put it to three, mm -hmm. but the second you go into three and you honk it real hard, yeah. it, it throttles off, right? Okay. So then I would kind of kill it, right? So I right. need to stay on two, but feather out my clutch and then kind of really, yeah. without going overboard, because the second I hit that second gear, yeah. it just wants to lift, right? Right, right. Because of your short wheelbase, right? Yeah. So those two inches, two inches for most people will say that's a lot, right? So <laughs> depends on who you talk to, right? So, but you know, it does make it. It does make a difference, right? It does. Yeah. It makes a difference sure. in the end of for the sure. day. It totally makes a difference, right? Yeah. Um, so my total length was eighty-two point five. Yours was eighty-three. Mm -hmm. uh, my seat height. Again, now we're looking at the center of gravity here, yeah. right? CG rating is definitely going to make a difference in regards to your performance. Yeah. I'm at 32.5. I think you were at 31 something, right? 0. 0.9. So 32. 30, 30, 30 much the so same. Yeah. It's almost, yeah, almost an inch, right? right? So, uh, yeah. By the time you yeah. do, do, do it all, yeah. uh, technically, it's still, yeah, a little bit more an inch or give or take, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, six inches, six inches. Uh, no, no, point six. Point six inches, yeah, right? Point six so, inches, yeah, yeah, whatever. Again, that could mean a lot for somebody. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> the total height yeah. uh, of mine, so that's uh, from the top of the cowling, right? Because again, I didn't have a, I didn't have a fairing or anything like that, right? right? So it's it's top of the actual meter. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think we the we measure out where the mirrors are. Again, I'd probably have to take out a tape measure and actually measure, but I doubt it does that really. Mm -hmm. um, so. I'm at 43.7 inches in height. 42.5. 42.5. So, so you're lower, an lower inch, seat. So yeah, your whole two inches. Yeah, your right. whole center of gravity is yeah. down to the ground. Mm -hmm. The whole length of it is, is stretched out a little bit more than the right. MT10, right? Yeah, so yeah. that's the only reason why he beats me. <laughs> that's my answer. <laughs> I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I'm sticking to it, right? So, um, so now we're going to get into a little bit more of the um, user of the bikes now as a rider itself you know it's not necessarily about the specs of bikes but it's about you know the the the, the costs of the bikes right and mm -hmm. your maintenance sure. you know and now we're comparing kind of more on stuff like that like you know I'm not we're not here to say which one's better or which one you need to no. buy with but you know a lot of people who are shopping around with the liter bikes yeah you know they, they need to look at all the aspects of it right I yeah mean, Premium bikes come with premium prices, mm -hmm. and that also goes with maintenance too, right? right. So um, that's 
that's one thing that a lot of people I, I find tend to kind of overlook. Yeah. You know, they all look about the power and the specs and this and that and that. And that's why this bike is better and that's why you have to buy it. But mm -hmm. if you do that and then you turn around and end up having to pay like massive amount of maintenance costs. Of course, of course. Then that bike isn't necessarily always worth it. And that's, that's right. where I'm kind of looking at it yeah. for that aspect of it. So in regards to both bikes, I did the research. It is highly recommended that both use 100% synthetic yeah. oil mm -hmm. and genuine OEM filters, right? Um, so again, any brand that you go with, yeah. I, I think um, OEM filters and, and oil uh, yeah. or recommended oils by the, the manufacturer is... Absolutely. is is, is probably the smartest thing to do yeah. not only for for maintenance of the bike because bikes are designed to be used with that but also for your warranty and just you know mm -hmm. well-being right mm -hmm. so anyways my oil changes um, which is actually quite interesting here mm -hmm. right so uh, so one both of them use 100% synthetic oil uh, both recommended by the the manufacturers my oil changes need to be done at every 4,000 miles which is recommended or 6,500 kilometers mm -hmm. yours mm -hmm. Now, guys, take note of this. Take take note of this because this is where things will be a lot different. Right. I think yours was rated at at seventy five hundred miles. Mm -hmm. Recommended. This is from factory. Right. Seventy five hundred miles, which was almost twelve thousand kilometers, wasn't it? Something yeah. like that. I am. I'm just going off by memory here, right? Mm -hmm. So that's almost almost double the amount of mileage per oil change yeah. that you do. Now, to some Should people, you do might, that? <laughs> Should maybe you? not. I don't know, right? <laughs> yeah. But again, this is recommended from factory, right? Um, but the biggest thing here is an oil change kit. Now, I took oil change kits, factory oil change kits, so that's recommended oil and the, and the filter with gaskets and so on and so forth, costed it out, right, mm -hmm. from the MTO side, right, so the Yamaha side, uh, we're looking at a hundred, now this is Canadian mm -hmm. funds, okay? So we're looking at a hundred and twenty dollars mm -hmm. per oil change, right. per kit, right? Every four thousand miles, all right? So 6,500 kilometers. Right. Your kit, if I recall properly, I, I quoted it out as yeah. a factory kit yeah. of $85. $85. Yeah. $85. Yeah. That, again, is almost still one third cheaper mm -hmm. than mine. Right. Which you have to do twice the amount. Yeah. That money starts to calculate quite sure, a bit, yeah, right? If you're, I mean, if you're doing, if you're doing years, miles, like we do yeah, miles, yeah. we do a lot of miles. So uh, again, that, that becomes a very expensive kit, right? It so, does, it does, absolutely. Um, yeah, it's quite a, quite interesting. Uh, on another cost uh, of thing, um, tires, the rear tires, right? Mm -hmm. So you actually just purchased a tire. Yeah. I'm looking out right, for a tire before yeah. I get to having to purchase a tire. Yeah. Multiple different places that you go to sure. have different prices and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I generally, people don't buy the original manufacturing tire from the manufacturer just due to the fact that the costs are so high. Yeah. The last quote that I got when I searched it up as mm -hmm. a retail value was almost $735. Mm. Nobody's gonna buy that, yeah. right? So yeah. um, Now that's from Yamaha. That was from factory Yamaha. Okay. Right? And actually, okay. There, you can watch some videos. Uh, Fort9 did a video not too long ago right. uh, comparing manufacturer tires and just tires and stuff like that. And he runs down through, Ryan um, did a, a little segment um, as to how manufacturers go ahead and purchase their tires, right? Mm -hmm. So things okay. to watch out for. Um, Y'all go and take a look at it. I'm not gonna put the, the link to it because sure. I, I shouldn't do that. But anyways, you guys can take a look at that. Quite interesting. Just because it's from the manufacturer doesn't necessarily mean it's always the best tire. Oh, absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So they're there to make money. They're there to save money yeah. wherever they can, even though um, you can still buy the accessory mm -hmm. tire of the identical brand and and, and uh, model. Yeah, well, they have, it's not they have the two same. different. Yeah, so it's got yeah. the same. Manufacturer spec. Right. And one's and, made in Germany and yeah. the other one's made in wherever, right? And they have completely different tread, tread depths. Exactly. Right? So. And that's where they save the money, too. So okay. that's one thing I, I didn't realize before until uh, I watched that. So right. it's really good. So anyways, we're both running 190s. Yeah. Yours is a 50, 50 17, mine's yeah. a 55, 17. Yeah. So for the most part, they're the same. Mm -hmm. You're just a little bit smaller, but yeah. you're talking fractions of, a, of an inch, nothing there really. Yeah. So uh, still anything gives them a, uh, gives them a lead. Gives them well, but thing. gives you an advantage. You know, so, so the argument would be right. So <laughs> you go with a smaller tire, mm -hmm. right? So mine is a little bit smaller than yours. Tiniest right? thing. Though. Yeah. Um, and if anyone's gonna say, well, you know, okay, well, with a smaller tire, you're gonna get more torque. Yeah. Right. Maybe. Right. But then you shouldn't have maybe that top speed. 
That's right. Right. And now, you're smoking course, to me on both. Of course, transmissions and transmission gearing is going to play a part in that. But I mean, for the most part, you go with a smaller tire. Yeah, you might get more torque. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and we're not like doing burnout, so we're not like no. doing like. Yeah, the, the traction doesn't have to be at the absolute, you know, optimal. Yeah, one hundred percent, right? I mean, we're just, you know, taking off the line. Curse you, Suzuki, <laughs> man! <laughs> so, oh, whatever, whatever. So, but on an average, yeah. Next week we'll we'll do more of a test. And we'll totally, see, right? absolutely. Yeah. I think we need to to still have more controlled tests, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, tires are almost virtually the same. Uh, average pricing of the tires. I've priced mine out. Uh, like I said, through Fortnite at $195. Yours was around $185, $195. Yeah, yeah $184 um, before tax. Yeah, so again, it all depends on what brands you go with and stuff like that. Uh, my pricing was out for the existing replacement tire of what I have mm -hmm. through an aftermarket company, right? Mm -hmm. So again, that's an OEM, um, OEM kit fit, right? So, big thing, which I finally, about time after eight items that we went through, I have an advantage over you. Mm. And that is accessories. No. I have, Absolutely. or the Yamaha MT-10 or any MT series uh, has a ton yes. of available accessories out there, both from an OEM level and an aftermarket, especially in the aftermarket company. Mm -hmm. um, there are tons of bolt-on accessories um, no. from universal style things that do work to actually fit and finish bolt-on, snap-on kind of thing where, unfortunately, you, Mr. John, are kind of limited. Mm -hmm. um, there are some luggage racks and stuff like that and some stick-ons yep. and some for sure little things. But in regards to actual amount of accessories that we, we have to compare, uh -huh. I win. So oh, yeah. I'm taking that win and I'm taking it home with me and I'm not letting you get <laughs> Well, and, you know, that's the funny thing is that, you know, bikes and... Um, Accessories mm -hmm. are basically produced because of the popularity of a bike. Yeah. Right? If they're like, like with my truck, the Ford F-150, there are Tons. so many things yeah. that you can buy for that truck. For some strange reason, this bike just really was not that popular. No. And Which is true. What about the Z? I think, I, yeah, I think they might, that might even be more popular. Mm -hmm. you no. Know? And yeah, you know, one of the, uh, the complaints about this bike was a snatchy throttle. Yeah. And I think... When they first released this bike back in 2015, um, that was one of the biggest complaints, or maybe 2016. That was one of the biggest complaints about this bike was that it had a snatchy throttle, right? And they were saying that you know you got to be careful. You know you're coming out out of a corner, and you know if you give her a little bit too much throttle, you know it's you're gonna have a real effed up day. Do you have throttle controls on that? No. Traction controls, yes. Traction control, but I don't have any modes. Rider have no modes. throttle modes. Yeah, and I think maybe that's another reason why they didn't sell as well as they did. Maybe people were scared of the fact You that know what? That's one thing mm -hmm. I didn't do. What? I didn't put my, I, I, I kept my traction control on. Right. And I, and I, can, I have to take a look. I have to take a look. Right. I'll right. see if I can see through the screen, but we'll test this weekend. Yeah. I might have not had it in track in, right. in throttle mode one. Green apple juice, like by the way, everyone. Green apple juice. Green apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is linear power, yeah. right? Right, right, right. Whereas now I'm oh, running yeah. two and three, which is an exponential power, right? You're so right, right. I'd have to take a look at that. So we'll have to we have to get back out on the on a closed circuit. Yeah, we can definitely try. By yeah. professional riders only, just right. <laughs> That's a test, in Mexico. Right? We'll go out to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't have a control on throttle, but no. I do have control on throttle. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know how much that robs power from the bike and stuff yeah. like that. Yes, I understand if you put it in two and three, but I'm saying even if you have it in one, does it kind of rob power to the end? I don't know. Yeah. So, but like you're saying, yeah, it's not. Yeah, uh, it wasn't a very popular bike. It wasn't even now. Oh, I mean, when you go to look at it, it's such yeah. an awesome bike. I think so. I, I love, you know, I've loved that bike. I mean, like when I, I still, before I bought this, I was looking at so many different bikes, and remember, I uh -huh. even asked you about the MT10. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, Sorry, and, and I uh, told you to steer away from that because it was so, yeah. it was so bad on fuel, and yet I turned around and got one. Right, but, no, and then I was <laughs> thanks to Sage, and then I wanted to pull the trigger yeah. on one, and then uh, through through your company, there was some guy that wrote, oh off, yeah, wrote it off the demo that uh -huh. I was hoping to buy, but anyway, that didn't work out. No, but uh, yeah, no, I did a lot of research on this bike before I bought it, um, and one of the things I wanted to, to, I wanted to get a bike that handled like a sport bike. Yeah was pretty much as fast as, you know, any leader class bike. 
right? And, he came and, and, from he came from a Hayabusa, right? And I'm not saying that this is as fast as a as a Jixer or an R1. I'm not saying that, but I wanted something comparable. Yeah, right. Because that's and there's not a lot we could well, do in that speed anyway. Yeah, and, and you know, at that time in my life, that was kind of where I was at. I'm a uh -huh. little different now, uh -huh. and as you and I talked about. Uh, but when I bought this bike, I was still very much into, I want to go fast, I want to go as fast as I can, I want to <laughs> hit the, the twisties as hard as I can. On a know? closed circuit course. Right, in Mexico. <laughs> in Mexico. In <laughs> Mexico. Right? And I wanted to do all these things, but I also wanted to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. So that was the dilemma. So you know, once you start putting in those criteria, then all of a sudden yep. the field of bikes to choose from narrowed narrow down right to now. about yep. like, literally three or four. Yeah. Right. Um, so I thought about the Ninja 1000. Um, yes, I remember. I, th I thought about the MT10, you know. Um, but in the end, you know, with cost and everything else factored in, this was this was it for me. It was yeah. the smartest choice. Right. Now I don't like the fact that it looks like an Angry Bird. <laughs> now from the side profile, it looks great, but no. head on, it does kind of look like an Angry Bird, right? But, uh, <laughs> so that's not you know something that I'm really crazy about. But aside from that, I mean, the the bike has uh, has been superb. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I will say this about the MT10 on just um, the, the couple times I rode your bike. Um, you can tell the, the fit and finish, uh -huh. the quality of materials is just on another level. The premium. Yeah, feel. like, like yeah. this, this is, has a great engine, has a great transmission. The brakes are pretty good. You know, Brembo's up front and I think it's got the Nissan or Nissan in the back. But the quality of materials, yeah. like, you can just tell. <laughs> it, it's, it's a different level. But then again, I mean, the bike is what? Two, three thousand dollars more expensive. And that's where actually. So, so um, good you say that yeah. because that was one thing I, I also started to check. So yes, mm -hmm. you know if you're if you're a guy who wants to buy a bike, right? And, yeah. and the first thing we all like to do, anyways, when we buy bikes, is that we do accessorize them and stuff like that. So yeah. you know if you're looking into personalizing, um, you know, like I said, the MT10 does take that portion mm -hmm. from you. Um, thank God I have at least one thing. Um, but another thing is then pricing, right? So yeah. if you're looking pricing on a, on a used market, yeah. again, I'm only going by average and I'm going by Canadian dollars, mm -hmm. right? So uh, depending on your region, prices might be a little bit different. I have around approximately for the 2018, right. uh, miles is probably around uh, you know 4,000 miles, give or take. Yeah. Um, we're looking at still like thirteen thousand, thirteen thousand five hundred dollars, right? Yeah, Canadian, yeah, exactly. Um, and then plus your local taxes and stuff like that, yeah. whether that's uh, on the private market or used at a dealership, right? Mm -hmm. Where yours um, is is definitely. I mean, you lucked out, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean you really lucked out. Yeah, we we have eleven thousand written down. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, you can pick up, you can pick up twenty nineteens right now for yes. just a shade over ten. Exactly. So your pricing yeah. it stays. I mean, stays semi-consistent but mm -hmm. stays still like almost three to four thousand dollars lower yeah than the mt10 so and, you, and you, you know you, you, you can totally that. see where that that money is spent right like i yeah. said because the quality of ah. materials like you know when i look at this and again it, you know from far it looks fine but when you start taking fairings off and everything else and you just yeah. see like how things are like a little bit flimsy here and there yes um, yes the material quality it, it's not you know, it's you know what do they describe it as? They, they describe it as like it was chiseled from one piece of steel, right? Yeah. This does not feel like that. <laughs> like the engine and transmission is is brilliant, but beyond that, like all this other stuff, I mean, it's just it's a good bike as long as it looks good. And and I think that's kind of a lot of the direction from a lot of manufacturers and, and Japanese manufacturers. Yeah. Like I said, for my Nissan Murano the other day, we were talking about. It. I said, as long as it looks good, mm -hmm. you know, then that's it. Right. But don't start looking behind the panels. No. Because then you're going to notice like, ooh, you know, yeah. it's kind of not cheap. Yeah. And not cut corners, but made the most budget friendly for them. It was. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And you can totally see that. Some here. certain Yamaha products are yeah. the same way. Don't get me wrong. Right. right. Yeah. Um, but some certain products like the, the MT10, the R1. MT10. It, it's a premium like bike. The flagship models. It's yeah. a premium the, bike. The premium models where you're paying big bucks yeah. um, do have, you know, they, they come... That's the reason why they're the big box, right? Sure. So, sure. Yeah, I mean, no. you can totally see where they spent the money on, right? Yeah. Um, not on the power, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> or the pull. Yeah. Um, I can't let it go. I'm sorry. But we'll have to you, try it. You just, you, you know, it hurts me, man. It just, ah, you'd think. So. But we'll have to check this again. The MT killer. Right? So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so next weekend, yeah. you can fiddle around with your, your, your modes. 
Yeah. All right, and, and see if that changes. We'll play. Yeah. We'll take it out onto some like really sandy roads, mm -hmm. so I can really adjust all the sense, you know, the the sensing in, so that you you have the complete yeah. disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. Have to do a yeah zero to one hundred on on a sandy road. So. <laughs> but I guess I guess the, the the biggest hurt would be if I beat you on the empty ten. Does, oh, that just, okay. does that switch to a separate SD card right away? Uh, no, no, it's just the one SD card. It's a maximum SD card, but I think because we did actually 30 minutes oh, I see. video, I, see, I think I it's maximum of, of a 30 right. minute interval recording, right? Mm. But the file still actually stays super small compared to a GoPro. Like okay. when I render the GoPro videos, yeah, yeah. then I render them at 1080. Okay. It, it just takes forever, right? Wow. Where this one here, when I when I do it off of this one, like it's so fast. Like really? the editing and, and rendering with this. And was, you're shooting 1080 here as well. And I'm shooting 1080 as well oh. on that, right? Okay. So. I was, uh, I was contemplating on taking my phone and, and doing the live stream, right? Mm -hmm. So, well, I don't know, well, I don't know. Maybe next time, whatever, because then we, this way we can get some direct feedback, direct questions and stuff right. like that. So, um, you know, what I'll do is I'll set out a, um, a scheduled, scheduled video mm -hmm. saying, you know, as of this date, you know, yeah. we'll sit down, but we'll do a conclusion. That's sure. what we should do, right? So we did the intro where he's kicked my ass numerous times. <laughs> We're talking this part two yeah. about the specs and kind of like a little bit of the feedback of the bikes. Mm -hmm. Part three, we're going to get back out onto the road and, and just do some riding and, and comparison yeah. uh, as we swap bikes and stuff like that. And then part four, the conclusion, the final, um, is where we can maybe do that and maybe do it live at the same time, right? We can do both or something like that. Well, YouTube will set a date for it and then if people can just tune in, it will pop up. Something. We can figure something out. Yeah. yeah. Just find a way that this way if anybody has any feedbacks or questions mm -hmm. while we're doing uh, the video, you can read out the questions. Oh, we'll figure something out. Yeah. Whatever. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lose sleep over it either, no. right? So, but anyways, yeah. So what, as you were saying, um, we'll get out, ride this weekend. Yeah. Get some some different modes into it. See how things go. Sure. Uh, swap bikes out. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you have anything else that you want to feed into this video here. Um, well, no. I think it's gonna be a great weekend. Yeah, weather-wise. Weather-wise, so, finally. Yeah, it's going to be know. twenty something <laughs> so Celsius. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah, we'll have a good day to to do some testing, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. And for now, we're just going to enjoy our wings. Yeah, I'm going to sit beside the the defeater of the MT, just in its glory. I mean, that's why it's here tonight. That's why it's it's previewing and not the MT10 because it's still at home sulking. Um, <laughs> but like you said. <laughs> But John does have a point here, right? And again, if you go back and check the video, you will see when I do the countdown, I'm a nice guy. I don't do like many of the other videos I've seen and many other writers where they go, okay, three, two, one, go, like that. I and go back and replay it numerous times and, and screen by screen. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not here making up stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm a good guy. I'm yeah. a fair guy. Yeah, I do. Are. Three, two, one, one go. Go. Mm -hmm. When I see go, I'm looking at you in the mirror because the second I see that you start to move, right. I get on. So you'll see there's actually a whole second and a second and a half delay mm -hmm. after I say go because it's still that same countdown time yeah. that actually I say go and then I go that. Mm -hmm. Watch the video. That gives him the advantage because he's already counting on three, two, one, and he's like, go! <laughs> and you're tucked! <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. Uh -uh. Right, yeah, there's Not at least a second gonna... difference. <laughs> no! I'm sorry. But if you watch that video carefully and you listen to what I'm saying, I'm like, okay, I, I, I yeah, down I'm to getting, 90. Uh, no, no, no. I'm getting my traction control set to two. Yeah, and then you're like, okay, three, two, one, go. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so there was that. <laughs> was it? Okay, whatever. I don't know. I don't remember seeing that. Yeah. I'm sorry, but uh, no, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll have some fun. It doesn't matter. Oh, like I said, it's all it's all about the fun. It doesn't matter what you ride. Yeah, as long as you ride. Yeah, you know, you so ride was, with good guys. Yeah, I was yeah. on this website today. Yeah, and I was looking at trying to find more stats about this bike. Mm. And like I said, every website has different stats. So anyway, this one website that I was on tested, I think the uh, the 08 Gixxer, okay, the 05 Gixxer yeah. against this, the 2018 Gixxus. 
why? Okay, well, they just wanted to see what the okay. differences were, right? Yeah. And it was something like that, and don't quote me on this, but... Both had a thousand cc. Yeah, they were okay. all, all three bikes had thousand cc's. Yeah. So one was a 2005, and one was 2008, uh -huh. and this one being 2018. So they raced them, you know, to 40, to 60, to, to 100, to okay. 110, to 140, whatever. And up to about 100 and... Like we're talking miles per hour, by the way, right? Up to about 100, close to 100 miles per hour, all three bikes almost had identical times. Yeah. yeah. Only once you got past that, like we're talking 110, 120 miles per hour, yeah. then the Jixers started pulling ahead. Started pulling. Yeah. Really? And and up to something like 100... So note to myself, don't ever race a Jixer then. Yeah, well, <laughs> but, but up to something like 100 and... 100 miles per hour, I think it was like they were pretty much neck and neck. Like the differences were so so small. Wow. But once you got to like 120, 130, 140, then it's like a second difference between this and the Jixers. That's like, right. That's how much like faster they were. Yours. Right. Like we were always, and even when we did the roll on. Right. Right. So we did that 90 roll on, and yeah. then we did the dead stop to a roll on. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, even those two, we didn't go extremely high. No. Right. And and we didn't go that fast no. uh, in both. Uh, aspects of it right but yeah so as soon as we'd start to go we were like almost neck to neck to neck to neck yeah and then once once we start getting up to the the higher the power band right you your your power band is really high I mean I know the NT10 has, has got a low power band mm -hmm. you know compared to like the R1 right again they're at 13,000 mines at you know 5,000 The cross plane power. is known for torque right yeah well but it's also geared that, so it's not like yeah. it's the R1 engine no. just thrown into a different frame. Like they right. completely geared it out differently, yeah. completely mapped it out differently, right? So it, even even if I would compare it to an R1, I'd get smoked right. by an R1, right? Yeah. Once we get past the 6,000 RPM, sure. right? Sure. I mean, well, you're, you're you're pretty much topped out at about nine or ten thousand. Yeah, right? like whereas I'm the R1 low, is still screaming right, right so, so fourteen or. 15. I think we need to do a head-to-head -head comparison race. Dead start all the way up as to as fast as we go, but we're not allowed to go past six thousand RPM. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, I can't see the speed off. <laughs> we can't go past six thousand RPM. Yeah. There we go. I think that's only shifted. fair. Yeah. And you're not allowed to shift. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Whatever. I don't know. I've got to find no, something we'll, we'll to do. give me an advantage. We'll, well, and that's the thing. We can try. Um, acceleration. But like Don said, though, if we swap bikes and he still kicks my ass, now we have an issue. <laughs> then it's I give it chicken up. wings. <laughs> <laughs> I give up and I'm going to go buy a car. <laughs> <laughs> but we can definitely try acceleration from 2,000 RPM, roughly. Yeah. Okay. Right? We can, yeah. One from four, one from six, you know, one from. You want to do it from whatever. speed or from RPM? Yeah. Well, that's, that's the problem. Though, Whichever. Right? Yeah. We'd have to take a look. We have to yeah. kind of justify, right? So, yeah, yeah. You know, because that one RPM might be different than the other. Right. But we'll do like, you know, like what Sage and I did. Remember that, what we did last year? Yeah, you had the MT-07. Mm -hmm. Now, he had the MT-07 and I had the MT-10. Mm -hmm. Now, you were in third, and, third we were in fourth. and I was in fourth, right? Mm -hmm. So, we did that, right? Yeah. Just to kind of say, you know, kind of minimize the power versus weight versus, sure. you know, and all that, right? And he still like pulled, like mm -hmm. crazy pulled. It was right. just man yeah so i don't know maybe it's my old wrist that just can't twist that throttle anymore I don't know. you gotta do some wrist training i don't know yeah i'm gonna be up tonight and, uh, yeah <laughs> go faster baby but yeah i mean for sure we can definitely try it at different speeds yeah different gears different speeds see how everything plays out so i'm gonna try and get this video uploaded as soon as possible either tonight or tomorrow you guys have got like Give or take, what are we? We're at three, four uh, days. Yeah. We're Tuesday. Yeah. So till Saturday, right? So you guys have got three days. Suggestions. Suggestions, yeah. comments, or questions. Um, especially suggestions if you guys actually yeah. want to see something. Um, again, we're not going to kill each other here. No. You know, we're going to keep it safe. We're going to, you know, it's not, it's not an absolute shootout. You know, saying which is the best bike to buy and stuff like that. You know, it's again about rider reviews, right? So actual rider people, you know, and stuff like that. So we got to kind of keep it sensible but yeah if you guys have any questions yeah. let us know uh, before Saturday because I always like to keep up to date on all the videos and we'll I'll jot it down yeah and then we'll kind of review that and yeah. if and it's, we'll tackle if the it's issues. safe for both of us and we're comfortable to do that um, then we'll do it right so right. you know absolutely yeah. yeah Sage will be there with the stopwatch no <laughs> stopwatch man yeah yeah and you're more welcome to join <laughs> Um, as long as you sit on his bike, <laughs> so that that's the weight. That's the weight. The, the weight difference. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. 
All right. Okay. Again, thank you very much for tuning in to the uh, the episode or the uh, ed- edit or upload, I guess, of it's a dire thing to that discussions, yeah. hot wings and uh, hot wings and bikes, and uh, I'll have to find a a topic or not a topic, but a title for this one. Mm-hmm. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Give us a thumbs up. Give us your feedback. Um, until next time, always be safe, be good, have fun. Don't forget, keep it covered. John, thank you very much. Peace out. Sage, right. thank you very much. Awesome. Cheers. Here, cheers to the wings. There you go. All right. We gotta get, get a picture here for the uh, for the thumbnail. Here, we gotta we gotta feed the bike a little bit. Feed the bike a little bit. <laughs> there you go, man. <laughs> and cut. Yeah. 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 Yeah.